Nothing's gonna hurt, right? It feels like something's gonna hurt. Well, it could, but... It's going around my neck? Lean slightly forward. <laughs> I wasn't expecting all this. What is this exactly? <laughs> it's gonna go weird here. Is your name Sean Mendez? Yes. Are you 23 years old? Yes. Are you ready to take the slide detector test? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're ready to begin. Super. I can't stop smiling. I don't know. Something weird's happening. <laughs> Let's get serious. Okay. The first category is your life. In a recent interview, you said that your girlfriend thinks that you're incapable of lying. Does that mean you're actually really good at lying? No. It means I'm, I'm pretty bad at lying. I'm feeling some like electricity go through my fingers. Is that, was that, am I supposed to? Telling the truth. Okay. So you've <laughs> never lied? No, I'm not saying that. I definitely have lied. To your girlfriend? V yes. <laughs> but she didn't know. <laughs> she didn't know. Yeah, that's why I was definitely lying. You said that this man, Justin Bieber, <laughs> is one of the main reasons you started singing. Yes. And last year you put out a song with him. As such a big fan, were you nervous around him when you first met? Definitely. What'd you do? What'd I do? Um, like, I, I think that when I get nervous my face twitches, but apparently it doesn't. But I'm pretty sure I had some face twitching going on. <laughs> Did you say anything <laughs> weird to him? Probably, like some, like definitely some weird stuff about how much I love, like his song "Smile." <laughs> when you met Justin Bieber, yeah, did the Met Gala get brought up? When we met, no, never talked about that. He's telling the truth. Yeah, no. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> On Reddit, someone recently posted that Treat You Better is the Nice Guy National Anthem. Oh, yeah? I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Would you agree with that statement? It's the nice guy. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah? Sure. He's telling the truth. Oh, right. <laughs> Do you consider yourself a nice guy? Yeah. <laughs> I can't make a determination on a question like that. I'm having a problem with that question. Maybe I don't. Are you not a nice guy? I guess I'm not a nice guy. Would you say you're one of the nicer guys in the music industry? I'd say I'm up there in the nicer percentage of people. Do you think you're nicer than Harry Styles? Am I nicer than this man? It's hard to tell. I've never really actually met him or hung out with him, but Looking at this photo, it's maybe, I think I could be a bit nicer than him. <laughs> I'm really not capable of lying. I'm done telling the truth. Does look quite nice in this photo. Do you think it's fair to say that nice guys finish last? No. Not in the end. In the end? In the end, they definitely don't finish last. I mean, in the end of life, like when it all comes down, kind of the end of it all, death. <laughs> Try not to move, it affects the test. Don't move, all right, sorry. Do nice guys always end up in the friend zone? No. <clears throat> Have you ever been friend zoned? Oh yeah. A lot? Maybe a few times. Really, just a few times by the same girl. <laughs> but she's my girlfriend now, so everything's okay. Is everything okay? Yeah. <laughs> You're being honest. Okay. <laughs> All right. You recently learned how to do laundry. Is that right? Yeah. I can do, I can achieve it. Like, I mean, if it really came down to it, like, I could probably, I would have pulled it off a couple years earlier, but no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what the question was. 
Can you explain to me how laundry works confidently? Like, I think for me, laundry is you have to separate the whites from the darks and you have to make sure there's no pink or red in the side of the whites. And you have to put the detergent in and the softener in and you want to put it on gentle so it doesn't mess up anything. And, and maybe you want to put the dryer on gentle too. So you want to shrink shirts. He's telling the truth. Yeah. In 2018, you said your mom still cleaned your Toronto apartment. Yeah. Is that still true? Yes. I mean, yes. I can't say no because sometimes I clean it, sometimes she cleans it. How often do you clean it? I'd say less than 50% of the time. Okay, we're gonna move on to the category of relationships. Okay. Did my heart rate just rise? Yes, it did, a little bit. A little bit? <laughs> <clears throat> you once said that this man, John Mayer, mm -hmm. is one of your really, really good friends. Uh-huh. As his really good friend, do you think he'll be a lifelong bachelor? No. I think that when he's ready, and he surrenders, the right person's gonna fall into his world. So you're saying he's not ready now? I think, I think, I can't tell. I mean, I think he, I, I don't feel like he's ready from my conversations with him. <laughs> Have you ever tried to set him up with anyone? I think I've, I might have thought about it, but I don't think I've ever acted on it, no. This is a really important question. All right. Can you give me his number? John? Oh, absolutely. He's being deceptive on that question. Uh, no way. I was lying. <laughs> wow. You toured with Taylor Swift in 2015. Mm hmm Have you remained friends ever since? Yeah. I just think this photo is so funny. I look so big and awkward. <laughs> Do you guys still text? Yeah. I, I, I always am asking her for advice on music. When was the last time you texted? Maybe a month ago. So whatever that counts for as still texting. Do you approve of Taylor's current boyfriend, Joe Allen? I've never personally met Joe, but he looks like a, he looks like a sweet guy. You're not telling the truth, you're being deceptive. I'm lying a little bit? Yeah, some, I mean, he's kind of got a little bit of a villain look about him. I, I, I mean, he looks like a nice guy, but like, it, he, he like, at any like, movement could turn into a villain, you know, but. <laughs> He's got really blue eyes and I struggle with like eyes that blue, you know? Like I find it easier to trust brown eyes. I was talked way too much about him. <laughs> in 2020, you lived with your girlfriend's family in Miami for several months. I did. Would you say you're a good house guest? Yeah, definitely. I'm confident in that. So you always cleaned up after yourself? No. <laughs> that was, no. Did you ever buy groceries? Yeah. How often? Like, I'd say less than half, but like as many times as I, as I felt it in my heart, I guess. <laughs> Would you ever offer to wash the dishes? Yeah. Oh yeah. The laundry? No, that was a different story. How long is too long for a house guest to stay? It depends on the house guest, but I think any longer than two weeks is, is like too long. So I was definitely there for too long. I overstayed my welcome. Do you think her family thought you overstayed your welcome? I don't know what they thought, but they seem to be happy. I was happy. <laughs> That's all that matters. It's all that matters. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm feeling really good about everything so far. You shouldn't. I shouldn't? <laughs> okay. So the final category is pop culture. On Instagram, you follow Michelle Obama, but not Barack. Really? I have no idea why. 
No idea? I have no idea why. I have nothing secretly against Barack Obama. <laughs> On the other hand, Michelle doesn't follow you back. Do you ever get upset when someone you follow doesn't follow you back? Yeah. Like who? Like, I feel like Harry Styles doesn't follow me back. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Maybe he's not that nice. Yeah, maybe he's not that nice. Speaking of Instagram, your dog, Tarzan, has an Instagram account with over 200,000 followers. That's 200,000 people follow that account? And on Mother's Day, he posted for Camila, but not for you. You know why? Why? Who do you think runs that account? Tarzan? No. Camila. <laughs> Did that hurt your feelings? It didn't hurt my feelings because you know why? I was with Tarzan that day and I felt his love. <laughs> Is it fair to say Tarzan likes mom more? No. No, no, no. I would even go and say he likes me more. Yes. Would Camila say that? I think she would, through her teeth, say it. <laughs> Do you think it's possible to spoil a dog too much? Yeah, absolutely. Do you? Yeah, absolutely. Have you ever claimed Tarzan as an emotional support animal? Oh yeah, absolutely. Have you thrown Tarzan a birthday party? Yeah, absolutely. No, no, we haven't. He hasn't even turned one yet. We threw him like, it was like happy birthday, you're six months old, but like, he's not even one yet. He's a spoiled dog. Have you ever given him CBD to relax? Daily. Is that not a good thing in the dog community? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, if I give it to myself, I, I think it's okay with him. Your fan base is called the Mendez Army. Yeah. Army is also the name of BTS's fan base. Well, I obviously stole that from us. That was a joke, BTS Army. We're allies, you know? I think I like to think we're allies. BTS, big fans. I'm thinking our armies are on similar pages. Do they follow you on Instagram? BTS, they do. I think. I can't confirm or deny. <laughs> do you think that the Mendez army is more intense than the BTS army? Um, probably not. <laughs> I don't know what, what fan base is. You've been quite active on TikTok. Would you say it's your favorite social media platform? No, but it's progressively becoming it. But I'm addicted to it, so it's also evil. Have you ever accidentally spent more than one hour on TikTok? Oh yeah. One time I was scrolling and the TikTok showed up to tell me to drink water. <laughs> and take a breath. I never felt more low. <laughs> How many hours was that? Maybe two, or maybe an hour and a half. Would people be surprised to see what's on your For You page? Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm sure they would. I don't know what people are expecting to be on my For You page. Sean, what's on your For You page? <laughs> I don't, things. <laughs> All types. What's on your for you page? <laughs> this stuff. That's private. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's a for me page. <laughs> would you say you're good at TikTok? I would say I'm not. That's my strength. My strength lies in 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 my weakness. You auditioned to be on the Disney Channel when you were younger. Yeah. Yes. At least that's what I thought it was. <laughs> I didn't know it was like a, a, a commercial on the radio. Could have been anything. Next thing I knew, I was reading lines from a Cheerios commercial and I was 13 years old. Didn't do that. You didn't book it? No. Do you think you hold any secret resentment towards Miley Cyrus because she booked Disney Channel? I think, I don't think I could have played Hannah Montana if I tried my best. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> He's telling the truth. If that wasn't true, we'd have some real stuff to talk about here. 
Last question. Okay. Did you lie at any point during this lie detector test and we didn't catch you? No. <laughs> Pass the test. Thanks. Feel good about that. You feel good? You're the nicest person I ever tested on a polygraph. <laughs> <laughs>